Hello guys and welcome back. I think this is the last video of this uh, tutorial and I'm going to create the cloth. So let's go on Dolly camera and let's see our character. We can go here to display and let's hide our lights. Okay, perfectly. Well, now I want to unite these two. So I know that I have different UV unwrap maps. So I'm going to select uh, shorts and let's go to attach. And then let's press all Q and let's go to UV unwrap. So let's press U and then let's press open. Okay. As you can see, all this UV map is mixed up. So let's go to this, select by element, and let's move this one to the left. I know this is the t-shirt. And these are my shorts. Okay. So I want to move this to back. And let's rotate. Actually, let's select only this one and rotate it like this, 90 degrees, something like that. And then by pressing Ctrl Alt and the uh, right corner, let's scale it down. We can also rotate a bit more. Then let's bring up our shorts, scale it down also. Okay, perfect. Now we can bring the pockets. You can put them wherever you want. Okay, that's it. And let's move this one here. So let's close this one and let's right click collapse to and press yes. Now I know that I have the UV unwrap together. I'm going to detach again. And okay. Now let's select only the shirts for now and let's export it. So let's go to export desktop and call it, uh, let's go to obj and call it t-shirt. So let's go to shorts and do the same thing. Go to export and call it shorts. Perfect. Now let's go to ZBrush. I already have my character open, so I need to select, let's bring t-shirt first, press shift, and then let's go and let's go to lower subdivision, so we can move it faster, let's press and make polymesh 3D, and then let's bring our t-shirt. Now we can go to I already have open, so let's go to the plugin and drag it on the right. Go to UV Master and copy UV from 3 days Max and let's go to ZBrush UV and press Paste UV. We can go to Texture and new from Polypen we can make a quick test so you can see the UV unwrap is arranged perfectly from 3 days Max. Let's go to T-shirt again, let's go to Import and let's bring up shorts again let's go and press copy uvs this time let's go to shorts and let's press paste uvs let's make another test so uh, texture and press new from polypen as you can see again uv is perfectly fine from 3ds max perfect so next step is to Actually, I guess we are ready to create 
and bake maps. So what I did is I went to UV map and press 4K and then I make sure that I'm for the lower subdivision and start creating maps. And the first map I create is this place on map. Okay. And then I clone it and export it wherever you want. The same thing. Let's go to t-shirt. Once again, UV map 4K. And then I have created this person map. Once again, I press clone and then I export it. And then I went to a normal map. I've created normal maps. Also, I went to texture. I've created for the both uh, t shirt and shorts texture. And I've saved it on my computer. Then I went to Photoshop. Uh, let's bring up this displacement map uh, example. So, as you can see, I already have uh, my maps uh, created. So, let's bring displacement t shirt and displacement short. Okay, perfect. And now I have took one of these, doesn't matter which one. And by pressing Ctrl A, press Ctrl C, you can copy and Ctrl V, you will paste it. So, and then I went, I create a uh, mask layer, select paint, and just paint out the map. We can go to opacity. And you can see where is this one. Oh, I had the opacity to. And I just black out this. Let's see where the contour is. We can bring up the opacity now. And that's it. I've created the texture like this, normal maps, and put them together. So you can save it and you have everything in place. What I did uh, for texture is that I bring, let's bring up both texture. So I have my text, texture over here. And I just put on cavity map. As you can see, this is cavity map, back from ZBrush, and just put it at multiply, and I reduce the opacity. So I have more information, a bit more information on the text, here, and I save it like this. So now let's go back to 3ds Max. Okay. So let's start using our maps. I'm going to add two boss moon. Let's divide a few times and then let's bring up this place. Okay, great. Um, I already bring them over here, so I overwrite it to one, open, and then let's drag it to map instance. Use the map luminance, and let's see. So this is one. Okay, we start to see some detail. Let's go for. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I think if we set this one to one and this one for five, we will have. Pretty decent details. Okay, great. And next step, let's create our material. So let's bring video material. Let's add some reflection. Bring this down. And let's bring diffuse.
And let's select cloth texture. So I use directly my PCD in this case. And let's drag it. Okay, we are from ZBrush, so we need free vertical. Okay, cool. And next, I want to bring up my normal map. Oops, sorry, not this one. maps and normal map I forgot to overwrite so usually normal map and displacement map I overwrite it to one and then let's flip and then I have made from actually I'm using for reflection my uh, cavity map so I call it glossy. I just darken it, but no. Where are you? Cavity map. Ah, okay, so I use this one. And then just reduce it to 34 and move it to this map and 32. Uh, I reduce this to 12. Okay, let's move a bit close. Let's make a quick test and we'll be back with the render. So this is pretty simple and cool. We can see the pattern over here, which is great. Let's stop this render. Okay, so my next idea to add details is <coughs> I want to add small hair on the um, cloth. So let's press Ctrl V and make a copy, then delete all of this because I want the low poly. And then actually let's add a simple material for now. And we can, let's go to Ornatrix, Great Hair, and Fuel Ball. Mm, I did have this problem uh, last time when I tried to make it. So let's Ctrl V, Ctrl Z, sorry. And let's detach the shirt from shirts. Let's move pivot to center. And then let's go again to Ornatrix, Fruitball, and as you can see, everything is fine now. Well, let's select Ornatrix, um, let's reduce it to approximately two or actually one. Mm, let's add some, let's play with settings also. We want small. Zero two, I guess. Let's bring some length. Play with variation. We can reduce the length from here also. And then let's bring some freeze. Where are your freeze? Okay, let's make a quick test. The interesting I think is to tick for now. Let's go to settings and actually let's make it 
0.1 we can copy all of this copy and then let's directly paste it the number in render let's bring it down yeah I think they are mm. let's bring this down 5k now let's apply I want to apply something uh, because I have displacement so I want to bring displacement to um, where are you so distribution oh surface uh, displacement sorry so I'm going to bring this map over here and this map over here so it should uh, take displacement surface from the actual object we can apply material so let's select both of them and a quick render test let's see So I think this is a pretty cool. It's so it's not that visible now, but what we can do is actually let's increase back our thickness. So I think this will add a small more realistic uh, detail but as I said I wanted to keep this as uh, simple as I can uh, we can leave it like this so I guess that's it uh, let's make a quick render but that's it I hope you liked this video. Okay guys, so I really hope you learned something from this series of uh, videos. If you did, you can drop a like and share and subscribe. Numbers unfortunately are important for me also. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use this character for future presentation, that's for sure. I do have some uh, videos in my mind, something like Morph uh, from ZBrush to 3ds Max, and you can use it in animation. I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking to animate this character, so let's see what future will bring with this character. I really hope you like this uh, series. And see you next, see you on future videos. Thank you for watching.